After a career as a military pilot for the Navy, Jake Garn entered Salt Lake City politics when he decided to run for a position as city commissioner in 1967. He served there faithfully, taking charge of the water department, until winning the race for mayor in 1971 so he could do more to help shape the course of the capital city. But in 1974, he decided to run for U.S. Senate. He won a seat in the Senate and kept it until 1993. But it was in 1984 that Senator Garn was invited by NASA to fly as a payload specialist on Flight 51D of the Space Shuttle Discovery, making him the first sitting senator, first Utah, and only former mayor of Salt Lake City to fly into space. During his seven days in orbit, he performed various medical tests while circling the Earth 109 times. While he was in space, then Senator Garn grew space sick and NASA ended up naming their scale of space sickness after him. One Garn is the highest possible level of space sickness. And this is simply me, uh, guinea pig, uh, barf and Jake Garn with a few electrodes. <laughs> NASA's primary training facility for astronauts is also named after Jake Garn. And the Jake Garn Simulator and Training Facility is the only place where flight crews and ground controllers can train for every phase of a shuttle mission.